Patty Dew. Welcome back to Uke Town, USA, the viral free community. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be, she'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Now, what I just did, this is the word, the musical word for the day is modulation. So when you go from coming down the mountain when she comes. So this obviously is too low for my voice, unless I'm trying to sound like a, a gospel, southern gospel. How y'all doing there today? Anyway, but uh, it's, you can tell it's not the right key for me. So she'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Should be coming. No, we're not doing that song today, but that's called modulation. Whenever you switch from one key up to the next key, that's called modulating. Okay, it means something in like electronics, but uh, it's got those little meter things going on. Anyway, but I just know what musicians are, and that means it changes keys. It gets higher, or the whole the whole song goes. Should be coming around the mountain when she comes. Should be coming around the mountain when she comes. Should be coming around the mountain when she comes. I'm modulating up. Coming around the mountain, I'm modulating down. So there's the word for the day. Okay, hit a G chord. Okay, G chord. Your first finger is on the third string on the second fret. Your uh, second finger is on the first string on the second fret. And your third finger is on the uh, second string on the third fret. Okay, so fir uh, first finger, third string. Remember, one, two, three, four. As you get toward the ceiling, the numbers go up. It starts with one, goes to the ceiling. This is up, this is down, okay? So G chord, I'm gonna put it right on the screen there for you, right? Either right there or right there. We'll see it. Okay. So, uh, grab your coat, forget your, this is called Sunny Side of the Street. It's from a 1930-ish right in there. The, the land of ukulele utopia. And then we're going to do a bar chord tonight. So you got your G chord? If not, you can work on that in a minute. So a bar chord is, is the reason it's called a bar, it's B-A-R-R-E. And that's the thing, you know, when you, the dancers put their feet up on the, oh, tick those socks, man. And when the dancers put the, uh, their feet up on the, uh, on the big wooden bar, that's French. So it's, it means it's sort of a straight across piece of wood, if you, if you care. So you put your finger straight across. So it's just practice going open. And then you're gonna lay your finger across the first fret. And then between, actually right above the fret. So you're gonna bar it like that, okay? And then you're gonna to go to the third string and put your second finger on the third fret. So your first finger's covering the entire, barring across the entire second fret. And you're gonna put your third finger right there. <laughs> Like that, right there, okay. Bar chord. So grab your coat, forget your hat. Cool chord. Let's do that a few times. Grab your coat, forget your, oh, and get your hat. Grab your coat and get your hat. Let's do it again, one, two, three. Grab your coat and get your hat. Teachers mess up too, you can you can mess up. That's why you're here. Grab your coat. And get your hat. Got it? One more time. Grab your coat and get your hat. Leave your and C chord, third finger, first string, third fret. Worries on the grab your coat and get your hat. Leave your worries on the D7. D7. Put one and two. So it's the uh, second string, second fret, fourth string, second fret. I typically tell, tell people if you're going from a D7 to a G, use your first and second finger. If you're going from a D7 to a G7, use your second and third finger. Let's see, we're going to an E minor, so what would be easier? I'm gonna say, I think you're going to be easier to go one and two. So if you're getting ready to go to E minor, use one and two. It's probably going to be a little easier flip for you, okay? From the beginning. Grab your coat and get your hat. Leave your worries on the one and two. Now this looks like, you think E minor, you know, 
about it's it's the first finger on the uh, first string on the second fret, and then you go to your second finger on the uh, third second string third third fret, and then you get your fourth fret here. Okay, you're gonna put your ring finger on the third string on the fourth fret, or you can look right right here or there, and it's gonna tell you how to do it. Grab your coat. Let's see we go. G chord. Grab your coat and get your hat. Leave your worries on the doorstep. Here's your E minor. Just direct your feet. Okay, A7, very easy. First finger, third string, first fret. Easy chord. Go to your E minor. Got it down? One, two, three. Just direct your feet to the... And then you're going to two one finger chords in a row. This is cool. And you definitely want to use your second finger on this one because you're going to go to the fourth string, second fret. A minor. And here's this, you know. You can use either one. If you want to use your first finger on that one. Actually, first finger. Use your second finger on the A minor. And then when you go to the D7, use one and two. And we've already done D7 one time here, so use one and two. So consistently in this song so far, we're using D7, first finger and second finger. Or you can look look right right over right over here. It's like like the guy said, you get you get your stuff on the big screen up here, and then you get you get your stuff scroll along the bottom. Okay. 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 Give you three and then grab. Have your G chord down. One, two, three, grab your coat. And get your hat. Leave your worries on the doorstep. Just direct your feet to the sun, sunny side of the street. Can't you? And then it repeats. Hear that pitter pat. Good. And that happy tune is your step. Life can be so sweet. On the sun, sunny side of the street. G7. It's an upside down G. So your uh, third finger is on the first string on the second fret. Your uh, second finger is on the third string on the second fret. And your first finger is on the second string on the first fret. I used to walk in the shade. Here comes your C. Back in those blue on parade a7 one finger third string first fret but i'm not afraid d7 i do one and two because you're going to do the g rover crossed over if you just like the beginning hear that here comes your b7 bar chord now i'll be rich as rock -a. one and two d7 Gold dust at my feet on the sun, sunny side of the street. And that's the tune, okay? So let's do it really slow. Lee, slow Lee. Stay six feet away. Yeah, there you go. And I'm just. You, can, you kind of, watch this. Uh, watch this really close. See, I'm kind of lifting my fingers up. You can always get like a mute. So just after you strum the chord, take your left-handed fingers and just lift them up so it, it'll it do that to the strings. Use that choppy sound like this. Grab your coat and get your hat. Versus grab your coat and get your hat. Hear the difference? This is hipper. Grab your coat and get your hat. All right, get the idea? I missed the chord. That's the reason I'm stopping and going back. <laughs> mm. Here we go. Grab your coat and get your hat. Leave your worries on the doorstep. Just direct your feet to the sun, sunny side of the street. Can't you hear that pitter pat? And that happy tune is your step. Just direct your feet 
to the sun, sunny side of the street. I used G7 in the shade with us blues on parade. But I'm not afraid. This rover crossed over. I don't know what that means, but it's obviously from the 1930s. If I never had a cent, I'd be rich as Rockefeller. Gold dust at my feet on the sun, sunny side of the street. Now, if you're going to end this thing, uh, you probably tag it. We talked about tagging a previous thing. That's when you go like, just to wreck my feet. Now, play them twice as long. On the sunny, sunny side of the street. I got to do on that one is just look at this. Just take everything from the G G chord, slide everything down one toward th this part, not up that way. On the sun, sunny side of the street. Okay, cool. One more time and then we'll be done. Okay, here we go. Ready? <clears throat> The name of the song is uh, Sunny Side of the Street. It was written by Jimmy McHugh and copywritten in 1930. Dorothy Fields wrote the words. Geez, I wonder what happened. Grab your coat and get your hat. Leave your worries on the doorstep. Just direct your feet to the sun, sunny side of the street. I can't you hear a pitter pat and that happy tune is your step life can be so sweet on the sun sunny side of the street i used to walk in the shade with those blues on parade but now i'm not afraid this rover crossover if if I never have a cent, I'll be rich as Rockefeller. Gold dust at my feet on the sunny, sunny side of the street. Thank you very much. We'll be here all week. Don't forget to tip your servers. Get takeout. Get some takeout from your favorite place. Thank you very much. Tell me if this sounds like I'm turning this off. One, two, three, go.